Hello and welcome to Inside ETFs. I'm Ramzan Karamali. Today we're looking at single stock leveraged ETFs and my guest is Will Rind, founder and CEO of Granite Shares. Leveraged single stock ETFs often promise to deliver one and a half or two or more times the daily performance of the individual stocks they track. One stock in particular that has proved popular in recent months is Nvidia. And that's perhaps no surprise. According to Vetify, total assets invested in these products last December stood at $342 million. Today, leveraged Nvidia ETFs alone hold between six and $7 billion. And it isn't just NVIDIA-linked funds that are proving popular. The so-called Magnificent Seven stocks also have ETFs linked to them. So what's behind this rapid rise in leveraged ETFs? Well, who better to ask than Will Ryan from Granite Shares, whose own two times leveraged NVIDIA ETF nearly holds $5 billion in assets. Will, thanks so much for joining us. So what's the attraction? Uh, what's behind, what's the impact of NVIDIA on all these funds? Well, the impact is that NVIDIA has become, you know, the most important stock in the world, arguably, at the moment, and, you know, has become one of the largest companies in the world itself. It's really been one of the star performers in the market and is leading the charge in terms of AI. And that's really where the action has been this year. That's what people want to get exposure to. And they're playing that and representing that in the form of NVIDIA. But what happens if there is a significant pullback in NVIDIA? Well, if there's a significant pullback, just like in any stock, then, you know, the share price will go down. Um, but for the moment, people seem to be betting on, you know, a bright future for AI. And therefore, you've seen that reflected in the price of NVIDIA this year. So, well, let's have a look at how the reset works, in particular compounding. Because if you look at the performance of NVDL against the share price of NVIDIA itself, it's more than doubled it, hasn't it, this year? Well, that is in the way that the leverage is reset, there is a compounding effect because you're rebalancing the portfolio every night. So effectively investing the profits from that day and then compounding a 2x leverage return on top of that each day. So that can work very dramatically in your favor when the market is trending in the right direction, which it has been this year with NVIDIA and NVDL. But of course, like anything, uh, it can also work the opposite way and compound losses in an environment where the stock price is falling every day and you're leveraged to that. But is this product really for long term investors? Or is there big risk in holding these types of products for the long term? Well, with anything leveraged, there's an amplified amount of risk. So that's just, you know, comes with the territory. So these products are for people who are comfortable with risk, who are ha happy to hold risk and want that you know, increased opportunity of return for their risk. But yes, absolutely, these are not long-term buy and hold products in the same way that you might see a traditional or a generic index fund, for example. So these are for short-term trading, short-term investing opportunities. Now, in the past, in this program, we've talked to people from uh, Morningstar. They're a well-respected analysts of ETF products. And they've kind of labeled the product as uh, something for gamblers. What do you say to that in response? Well, look, I mean, first of all, the leveraged ETFs are not for everybody, as I've stated. You know, leveraged ETFs are for people who are comfortable with risk and who want to, you know, have the chance, the opportunity to make an outsized return for the risk they're taking. It, in regards to something like Morningstar, remember, that's a firm that makes money selling research based on active mutual funds. So in effect, you know, leveraged ETFs compete directly with that business. And therefore, it's not in their interest for people to buy leveraged ETFs and not buy active mutual funds. So you're always going to get your determined detractors. But these products very much have, you know, a huge audience around the world. And they're for people that love the underlying stocks, love taking leverage against that both on the long side and the short side. Will Ryan from Granite Shares, many thanks for your thoughts. And that was your look at single stock leveraged ETFs. I'm Ramzan Karmali and this is Reuters.